make any difference to the society? Do you feel rattled when you hear words like purpose of life? Words like calling and things like making a difference, touching a life. Do these words rattle you a lot? Do you feel you are a regular, average, middle class, see that other person who can't really do much to the society? You didn't get what I said? Okay, let's do that again. Do you all have a smartphone? And I'm sure you all have a WhatsApp number, maybe two, three, I don't know, whatever your mobile phone allows you. And do you all know how to put up a WhatsApp status? I'm sure you do. Well then, I would say that you can all be the next Sudamu. The country's most loved philanthropist. Sudamu. Again, you don't believe me, right? I know. Before we get in there, there's a fun fact. Did you know that you could put 1053 status messages in 24 hours? Okay, so this is good. So let's do this again. My name is Manju Kalanidhi. I am a journalist and a social activist in Hyderabad. I am a middle, middle aged, middle class, Sida father person. And between March 2020 and April 2021, sitting at home in my room during the lockdown, using two WhatsApp numbers, two calling numbers, two Facebook accounts, two Instagram accounts, one Twitter handle and one LinkedIn account. I could raise 21 lakh worth rupees, 21 lakh worth groceries for the needy in India who are suffering during the lockdown. Do you believe this is possible? Yes. If you still don't believe, you will have to read the news. You will have to understand I'm how this happened. And trust me, I was like any of you guys. I would think that Natha, like a regular person, what can I do? I probably have to be a solo suit, be a Bollywood actor to be able to garner people and get their attention. And I also thought that maybe I should at least be an Adani or an Ambani and have a bank balance and have a few flowers in Mumbai to be able to give to the poor. But you know what? In the year 2015, I could shatter that figure. I could break the myth that you don't have, I could break the myth that you need to have X amount of money or X amount of time or X amount of influence to be able to do some difference to the society. Let's go back to the year 2015. Sorry, 2013. That was the time when the viral challenge, ice bucket challenge was all around. Everybody was seeing those videos about how this uh, very creative challenge started garnering funds for a particular disease. When people were putting ice cold water on their head and they were sleeping and they were making videos, right? it was for a great cause, I do like that. But somewhere in India, I found that a lot of people were doing videos just for fun, just for likes and just for shares. Come on now, what is that? I think we can do better than that, right? So I'm sure everybody who saw those viral videos felt the same. I mean, we saw uh, celebrities in India taking it up. But I thought, why waste water when you can donate ice? So that's how Rice Bucket Challenge was born. And you know, I'm a person who can handle any emotion except hunger. When I'm hungry, I'm always angry. That is why when I think hunger, hunger is something that always touches me. And that's where the Rice Bucket Challenge idea came. But the game changer in this was that I actually donated a bucket of rice. Of course, the bucket is just a symbolism here. I just donated a bucket of rice to somebody who I thought was needy. And the master stroke was actually to put up a post. And you know, in those days, I just had about 280 people following me on social media. But still, that did not stop me. I wanted to shatter the filter that I could not at the right time does have an effect on the world. And you know what? As soon as I put up that post, I think within the next few hours, four other friends said, hey, this is cool. We want to be part of this rice bucket challenge. 
What should we do? Should we put rice on our heads? I said no. You don't have to put rice on your heads. You just have to donate a bucket of rice. But why should we donate? Who are these people who are going to receive? Well, I don't need to quote uh, UN statistics or World Bank's data to the data to tell you how many people are hungry in India on an everyday basis. Even today, we see how people are patched up because they try to steal food. That is India for you. So, rice cooking challenge is a very small part where we feed the hungry. Okay, now people might ask, why are you giving this? Why isn't the government doing anything for this? Why are you not can for me? Rice bucket challenge is like the first game, right? When you see somebody, you know, somebody who's met with an accident on the road, what do you do? Do you question, what is this car? Why is this, why did it, you know, make an accident like this? Or why are the roads like this? Did you not follow traffic rules? No, you don't do all that. You first take the person out, then you make sure he has, he or she has some water, and then you first aid. So I would say, rice bucket challenge is an initiative to first help them at least sustain so that they can be bigger and they can shatter the filters. So that's how Rice Bucket Challenge started, and uh, I think it was my good timing that uh, uh, director SS Rajamoli, today you all know him as the, you know, the master filmmaker of Mahabali, some kind hearted social media person actually shared my story on Twitter. And you know what happens when a celebrity comes in. Again, I don't know anybody there, it just happened. And from day onwards, my entire uh, initiative went viral. And before we knew, colleges and corporates joined me with the for Rice Bucket Challenge. There is a college in Parinagar which was doing their foundation day. They got in touch with me and said, Akka, we want to do Rice Bucket Challenge. And within 24 hours, they decided that each of the 2,200 students would get just 1 kg of rice from their home. By evening, the entire auditorium was filled with 2,200 kgs of rice. And then it was donated to 25 families around that. And guess what? The college challenged 3 other colleges. And those 3 colleges challenged 3 corporates. And before you know, entire India was swept by the rice bucket challenge. And it became so viral that a lot of international media covered my story. So that was, I think, my first experience with shattering the filter. I, at, at no point of time did I think that, what would I do? I mean, what, is this really sane for me to, you know, announce a challenge like this? Or am I making a fool of myself? I don't think, no, I am so, I will do this. Whatever it takes, I'm going to do this. And in the last few years, we could garner about 2 lakh kgs of rice. During COVID-19, uh, when the lockdown started and you know how much, how chaotic everything was, it was during that time that I think Rice Bucket Challenge really rose to the challenge and uh, we, could, uh, we could garner uh, almost 21 lakh worth of process. And we sent it to 78 points in and around Hyderabad, across even to other cities. And we made sure that all these groceries went to the people's doorstep. Again, during this time, I always felt that what is it that people love in India? Everybody in India loves movies, right? They're all film buffs. So I was unabashed about my being filmy. I am a very filmy person. If you meet me elsewhere, I would be probably telling you a few dialogues from famous movies. So I realized that why should folks social media posts uh, about charity or about helping somebody be always so dark and uh, maybe very banal. Why can't, why can't we excite people, make them feel good about making a difference or helping somebody? So that's when I started using the fan clubs of, uh, of Telugu film industry. Uh, luckily that was also the time when Mahesh Babu, Superstar Mahesh Babu's dialogue of, from Sri Mantu was trending where he says, Love and Kutunaru, Muri Kitini is just heavy. I thought that was a great line. And then I started using that for our social media posts. And I tagged everybody in his fan club. And then they did a great job of doing that. Then I realized, okay, why not tap the other fan club, the mega fan club? So then we went back and created posts where we said, Lekka, so we got all the mega fans to participate in our this thing. And you know, you could have thought, why should I do this? What is this? Am I deleting this challenge by doing this? No, for me, every person is a potential donor for our challenge. And every person who donates is probably doing 
sample. So I think that tracking the printer, that this has to be this way to be successful is one of the recipes that I plan. My other persona is that of a journalist. I am a full time journalist with over 15 years of work experience and I am what people call a lifestyle journalist. So you all heard of that ism, ism, journalism and every time I go people ask me, so uh, did you, uh, are you an investigative journalist? Uh, did you come up with any scoop or a breaking story? Did governments fall because of what stories you wrote? Did you ever go to the war zone and report? Sorry to disappoint you, I have not had anything of this one. I am a lifestyle journalist, but I am proud to say that. I always believe that wherever you are, what Theodore Roosevelt says, do what you can from where you are with what you have. So I realized that I am a lifestyle journalist and let me see what I can do. So for example, during COVID, when the entire country was shut down, we still had to produce our newspaper. And the brief was, keep the stories positive. Keep the stories with the sliver of hope and let people feel enthusiastic about the future despite what is happening around. That was the time I realized that we could just, you know, uh, feature a lot of startups or home businesses. I just did a random story through the post, people responded, and three days after we published this, I got calls from startups who said their angel investor had read the story online and they had asked them for it. Uh, you are appointed. There was a lady who told me, who came and met me with a box of sweet, and she said, Ma'am, I've been dealing with a bank manager and I've, I've, I've been struggling to get a collateral, a loan of the collateral, and this story really made a difference. That was also a time when I had featured a young aspiring karate kid from Telangana who was also suffering to go to the next level. And after the write up, she could get a sponsorship to go to uh, Bangkok uh, for her next tournament. That is when I felt that you can do so many things if you believe you can do it. That thought, the conviction, the resoluteness, that is what matters in this game of success. Uh, today, Rice Bucket Challenge is a case study in the National Geographic Center, Learning Center. They wanted to see how a regular ladder woman, a uh, regular woman in Hyderabad, just being at home. She is not a celebrity, I'm sure many of you also didn't know me before I came here. How did she do this? What is it that works for her? So we shared all our experiences uh, with them. Uh, I think that was another way where we broke the, shattered the filter, busted the myth, busted the myth that you need to be rich, check, broke the, uh, smashed the thought that uh, you need to have a lot of time in your hands to do that. And like I said, do not even underestimate the power of those WhatsApp groups. I know each of us are in groups, which is like cousins of, I don't know, Haritabad. Um, and and I, I think I am there in nearly 62 WhatsApp groups. Everything from both uh, apartments of Fuji residency group to hot mamas with cool attitude. I am there in every WhatsApp group, but I never exit those WhatsApp groups because you never know what I, what kind of network that is. You can always tap them. So don't underestimate anything that you have and use everything that, uh, that is on hand, especially if it is free. So uh, recently uh, somebody also added me into a job school. I was like, guys, I don't do jobs. I'm not an HR recruiter. I'm into, already I'm doing stories and I'm doing uh, hunger education. Uh, but then somebody said, ma'am, just post, just post it in your social media, the Insta story or whatever it is. And uh, as you know, uh, how Indian uh, you know, guys uh, message women. So I didn't block a few of them after they misbehaved. But you know what, they got back to me saying, ma'am, ma please don't block us from your stories because we've actually got jobs seeing what to have posted. So that was surprising to me because people are actually going to the interviews that I have posted and I don't know who kind of sends it to me. I'm just in my random group. So again, whenever I find time, I try and post at least 10 to 15 uh, such things in my in my in my phone. So I think to wrap it up, what I want to tell you is that for you doubt my friend. If you believe, do not whenever you feel that you are second guessing yourself and you are doubting yourself, remember that if you have the conviction, you can do what it takes. 
So my message is do not jitter, shatter the paper. Thank you very much.